Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to groom a Pomeranian. Um, it's going to be short, but we're going to give them um, form like a teddy bear. So uh, stay tuned. I am Miguel Garcia and I enjoy helping the well-groomed and well-dressed puppies. Join me as we explore a new world of love, quality, craftsmanship and traditions. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with the uh, number one comb from um, the clipper set that I got. And um, we're going to go on the back, as you can see on the video. I'm going with short strokes, but you know, respecting the lines of the legs. Doing the back. There is no rush, but also you don't want to take too long to the point that the um, dog get uh, uncomfortable. We're um, doing it. Even if you have to go through the same spot several times, it is okay. Uh, instead of you like holding the um, the machine, like putting pressure uh, towards the dog, it's better if you just like go slow. I mean, not slow, but soft. And uh, you better repeat more times to get a better, uh, more even cut. By the way, I have to do a disclaimer. None of these products are being, um, are sponsoring or doing any kind of like relationship with me at the moment. So uh, no, this is not a pay video. This is me just trying to show you how to groom a Pomeranian. Um, you can do this at home and it should be done. Um, the job should be done in less than an hour, including bath and uh, haircut. I'm doing the tail, uh, respecting the uh, legs because I want to leave some full or fuller legs than the body. Um, so it can get the teddy bear form, you know, with the legs like thicker. So that's what I want to do. I'm moving to the neck. Also, one thing I learned uh, with the years is that if you go over the same spot several times, um, since they're small breeds, they get uncomfortable easier and faster so i like to go you know a little here a little there uh just to kind of like even out the tickliness per se so that's what i like to do always keep in mind that if you remove your pet from the um security device that you are holding or restraining you have to keep in mind that you have to pay attention to your dog as you can see, like I'm holding the um, snout, but not putting pressure, just holding it so the dog can um, lift the head and the face and won't be like going down and down and down because that's super, super stressing when the dog is like going down and trying to lick you. And remember, you, are, you have the clippers, you can nick them. So just be careful with that. I'm going on the same spot, just like, you know, playing around, respecting the cheeks. So I, it can look, get like a fuller round face. So you have to not trim the uh, cheeks. Okay, with your comb, um, you can use anyone or anything, any kind of comb that you have at home. You don't have to purchase like the super expensive ones. Obviously, if you have the money to splurge, well, be my guest and just buy it. Um, there are some really cool, uh, combs, but to me, I just use, you know, the regular ones. They work perfect. They do the job.
just remember you might want to use the uh, lightweight ones because the other ones are kind of like heavy and what happens is when you use the uh, heavy ones when you do that when you do the strokes for combing you know since since it's heavier you can always get like a bigger impact on the uh, dog's skin it makes sense what i'm saying trying to say i'm moving to the head just you know like giving the uh, form like an oval not round completely because i like to blend with the neck so and if i do it just like the the round head it looks funny um so i'm just like to go oval so it can get like a better form And as you can see, he's starting to look like a teddy bear. He's super cute. And we are moving, you know, like making the uh, face. Just hold the, uh, not putting pressure, but just holding the snout. And he's super relaxed after the bath that he's like falling asleep. He's super cute. He's a really nice dog. I'm uh, doing it with my chunkers. I'm like, I'm grooming, cutting with my chunkers. So it actually removes all the um, thickness of the heavy coat. Being very careful when you do that, when you cut behind the ears. Um, you, there's always knots on that area. So just be careful. You don't want to like just go in and cut and, you know, like you might cut the ear. So please be very careful. I'm doing the legs and the belly. It is important yeah, do, that you do the front legs um, when you're going to start doing the belly because if you create a an imaginary straight line between the leg and the belly, it will it will be much easier to uh, get like a straight line. So you can see, I just keep going and going. You don't have to finish the whole uh, process within one day. You know, you can do by parts, but I highly recommend the, um, the grooming to be part of the a dog's life or a routine because that's going to prevent any um, future problems with the groomer if you're going to take them to the groomer or anything like that. But with this video, you can easily learn how to do it yourself. But if you are in New York and you want your, your dog to get groomed, well, here I am. You can always send me a, an email. My email is posted within the comment section. And, or call me. We can always, you know, arrange something.
Now it is the time for the uh, back legs and I am fluffing the uh, feathering from um, the legs and I'm just going with my scissors trimming a little by little trying to make them look round kind of giving them like a nice hind cute hiney little puppy also don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and give me the thumbs up if you're enjoying this video or let me know if you want me to do um, any other kind of videos or any breed that you want me to do please feel free to uh, write down in the comments I'm always reading it so uh, I'll be more than happy to read yours Okay, so here we go. We are getting uh, close to uh, finishing the uh, left side leg and we're gonna move to the actual um, back. And here is the tricky part because some people like to do the um, part around the anus like super short. Just keep in mind that it sometimes it gets itchy and dogs get uncomfortable when you actually shave the whole thing. So you might want to go and do a little by little, you know, in case that they get like dirty or stuff like that. Well, then you can just do a little bit more, but just keep that in mind. Um, some dogs are sensitive and uh, they really suffer from that.
here we go we are finishing the other side of the cheek and we are almost done with the grooming he is almost ready to go home he is uh feeling a little bit sleepy already and there's small dogs so you might want it to do um a little by little if you feel comfortable doing that way or if you want to do the full uh grooming you can do it also but just keep that in mind they get stressed super easy and as you can see luchito is like meow i want to take a nap we're getting there Once again, if you want to uh, keep enjoying the videos, don't forget to check my other videos here in my channel. And we are almost there. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching until the end.